Here at Pocket Now, we all know that wearables are the next big thing. Pebble is great, and the Galaxy Gear is a smartwatch that does, well, quite a bit more. Unfortunately, it only works on select Samsung devices. I'm Joe Levi for Pocket Now, and this is how to get your Galaxy Gear to work with your Nexus 5. This is my Nexus 5. It's rooted, but yours shouldn't have to be. Now, this hack came out a little while ago, and you might be asking, why are we only covering it now? Well, the reason being, there was an update to one of the files, bringing it up to version 1.6. We're hoping that will help us with uh, some of the problems that we had when we tried to do it before. So hat tip to uh, Michael Fisher for trying it out. This new version just came out yesterday. Let's give it a shot. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download some files. I've already got those downloaded and we'll have links to those and exactly what you're going to need in the article over at Pocket Now. So make sure you head over there to get the stuff that you need. Next, you're going to need a file explorer. I've got Root Explorer. You can use pretty much anything you want. It does need the ability to extract zip files or APKs to zip. So keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and open this up now. This is all in my downloads folder. And the first thing that we're going to do is come in here and install one of these apps. So this file, gr.gearmanagerstub, is the first file that you're going to want to install. Simply tap on that. Choose install. Of course, you've got to be able to install from uh, unknown or untrusted sources, which you can do quickly and easily through your, uh, your settings up in there. Apps installed. That part's done. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. The next file that we're going to do is this uh, gear manager, and this is version 1.6 point, a whole bunch of other numbers after it, uh, 1.3, blah, blah, blah. We can't just install it, at least not yet. What we've got to do is extract that. The way we're going to do that is simply to long press on this and we are going to rename it. And we're not going to do anything particularly fancy. We're just going to take the .apk and I'm not even going to take that off. I'm just going to add a .zip. Say OK and you can see now it's changed it into a zip file. An APK is just a specially organized zip file so this isn't doing anything weird. It's just changing the handler from the installer to something that will help you extract zip files. Go ahead and open that up and you can see we've got a whole bunch of other files in here. From here, open the assets folder and we want to open the pre-installed APKs. Notice none of these are pre-installed because, well, we haven't pre-installed them yet. We want to install all of those except for music and weather. And there are a bunch of them, so I'm going to go ahead and do this and you don't have to watch me do it. You know how to install an APK. Just install them all and then we can go on to the next step. We've gone ahead and extracted this and then of course installed the APKs. The two that don't install are music and weather. They'll throw an error, so if you want to just install everything, just know that you're going to get uh, problems installing those and that's just fine. The next step is to come back in here, rename this back from a zip to an APK. I'm just going to slide over and do that. Delete. Done. Okay. And now we're right back there, it's an APK. Now we're going to install this since those assets have already been pre-installed. Next, we want to connect our Galaxy Gear to the Gear Manager. You'll wanna make sure that you have your Galaxy Gear turned on. It's got this nice little video that it plays showing you just how to do it. Make sure that's turned on or it's not gonna work. If you want to pair it manually, you can do that as well. We're going to go ahead and check and say pair. And we're making a little bit more progress through the manual setup than we did through the automatic NFC setup. End user license agreement. Sure, we'll say yes. And next, I've got to scroll to the bottom apparently. Oh, we've got to acknowledge and read carefully and acknowledge. And now we can next. There we go. Our Galaxy Gear is set up. At this point, it's going to show us what we can do. So this is now all just the regular gear stuff that you would expect to be, uh, be able to be used with your brand new Galaxy Gear. But again, working on the Nexus 5. Next, in Gear Manager, we want to go down to Settings. And in Settings, we want to allow unknown sources. So we can install apps that uh, aren't Samsung approved onto our gear. Now the reason for that, if 
we come back over here, we want to install ATN Manager. The latest version is 1.2.3. Go ahead and tap on that. And we'll go ahead and scroll down and say install. Now, this is a notification manager. It's not all that pretty, but you are going to be able to get the notifications over to your gear that you otherwise wouldn't be able to do so. Once you're inside ATN Manager, simply select what things you want to be able to get notifications for. So that's how to get your Galaxy Gear working with your Nexus 5. Now, this works okay on the Nexus 5, but there hasn't been much success with any other devices out there. If you have another Android-powered device and you want to give it a try, you're definitely welcome to do so. The instructions and the links to the files that you need are going to be in the article over at pocketnow.com. And of course, we want to know your success, your challenges, and even your failure in the comments down below. Let us know if it worked for you or not. If you liked what you saw here, go ahead and throw the video a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, you'll want to make sure that you do so. It's the best way that you can keep up to date with everything that's happening in the mobile arena. If you want to follow us on social networks, my favorite is Twitter, where we are at PocketNow, and I am at Joe Levi. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.